if the faculty members you know can inspire the students automatically the education institution will go to the top let me come back to tpgit even though this is my first visit to tpgit i don't feel it is new to me because as soon as i get up get down from my car i saw all the familiar faces all my old teachers you know right from dr arularasu to dr manivelu to dr rex to professor siram babu dhrula madam rahila madam all of them were my teachers so i am very proud even though i am not an alumni of this institution i practically feel like an alumni of an institution so i am very happy to be here at the tpgit i would say you are all very lucky to have dr arular sir as your principal he is a very dynamic person as you might have already realized uh, he is very ambitious uh, so that's why you know in his period the institution is seeing lot of growth and uh, importance so you know it's, it's very very important that you know we all work together as a team i'm going to talk about that in a minute you know so that the institution grows to greater heights so today i wanted to talk to the students mainly about how to get great career opportunities i am uh, taking care of uh, uh, placement at vit so uh, know a thing or two about what companies are looking for from the students and uh, fortunately i also happen to be an ece graduate uh, all of you are ece here right yes, okay so congratulations it's one of the best branches <laughs> well as a, i am biased because i'm i'm an ece graduate um see when it comes to career how do companies choose a graduate Th that's the what that's what i wanted to discuss with you about you know they actually divide the skills into two when you, when i talk about career they talk about soft skills and hard skills so what companies are looking for in the soft skills category is that the first thing is communication skills it's very very important that you have good english communication skills i know for all of us here our mother tongue is not english right it's probably tamil or telugu or some other language so we usually think in terms of our mother tongue and then try to translate it in english so there is a you know disadvantage for us compared to the native speakers of english but fortunately in india we have very good english talent that's why you know we are able to surpass ahead of giants like china in software industry because communication becomes a very important skill so the point i'm trying to make is you know when it comes to english communication they do it in four right listening speaking reading and writing you need to be strong in all four of them especially spoken english because that's where you actually make your first impression when you go to an interview or a group discussion the first thing they are looking for is whether you are going to speak in an english which is error free which is without making any mistakes whether you can uh, speak fluently so you need to practice in tamil there is a saying right chittiramum kai palakam sendamalum ma palakam semayana english ma palakam so you need to practice practice speaking so especially people coming from uh, non english medium tamil medium students probably are usually afraid they lack the confidence to speak in english because they are thinking that somebody will laugh if i make a mistake in english you leave out the fear see does the child as soon as it's born does it start running no right it first crawls the child crawls and then falls many times and then starts walking and then starts running so we do make mistakes so don't be hesitant to make mistakes you should you know watch you know english movies so you pick up some spoken english and then you should actively read newspapers every day that's an important way of uh, picking up good language so communication skills is one of the most important factor when it comes to your um, placement the other thing is they also looking at are looking at interpersonal skills for example teamwork 
See, as a corporate person, I have recruited people in US. So what I ask them is, okay, in your college, you did your project with three or four students. Tell me what you did in the project. Tell me how you interacted with the rest of the teammates. Because traditionally in India, we have many individual people who have high talent. But when you put them together as a team, they don't know how to work. Usually ego comes into play. I want to show that I am the best person, more than that person, and things like that. So those kind of factors are very important for a company. So they look for people who have that good attitude. They call it attitude towards team building. So it's very important that you practice as teams, team project. See, there is no point in just winning on your own. Your team should win. For that, you need to help each other. Right? In, a, in a ECE project, if you are taking up, you need to first divide the work and see how you can coordinate between each of you and then make the project successful. Because some of you might be very smart, some of you might be a bit dull, so you should be helping each other. So that's, that's what teamwork comes into play. There, in a team, a leader is also important. I was talking about Dr. Erler being a good leader here, right? That shows a team requires a very good leader who can take everybody along, right? If a leader says, I don't care, I will dictate, that's not going to work. You need to convince everybody and take them together. So that's what companies look for. You know, as a freshers, they may not look too much into your leadership skill, but in your long-term career, you need to make sure you develop leadership skills. So as, let me just summarize, communication skills is very important, and then teamwork is very important. And when I say teamwork, your attitude towards each other, and then leadership skills. So these are some of the soft skills which a company expects from you. And then of course, the hard skills, subject knowledge, right? Subject knowledge, again, they are not going to look at just your final percentage. They are going to see if you have your fundamentals clear. That's again a problem in our Indian education system. Most of us, we just mug up and then go vomit in the exam. Don't we all do it? Right? We mug up before the exam, go vomit, and then next day if somebody asks me what happened, nobody will know. Because they just mugged up and vomited. They don't understand. That's the problem in our Indian education system. But you need to be different. You cannot afford to be like this. You have to understand the fundamentals. That's where your teachers also come into play. You need to make sure that you are very clear about the fundamentals. When it, when it comes to electronics, it's all about, it starts off with semiconductors. You should understand how the P and the N junction works. Right? That's the basic building block. Then you can go forward about you know, you know all this initial diodes, triodes, and transistors, and whatever. You know, digital logic, all that will come later on. So it's very important that you understand the fundamentals and know how to apply. That's the second thing they're looking at, right? The companies, when they look for a candidate, they want to see if you can apply what you have learned. So how can you apply without understanding a concept? So that's where when you do some projects, you need to be innovative. Now you will see boards everywhere, final year projects, help, consultant is available. That's all a waste. Right? You have been a, given a great opportunity to do a project. Do it sincerely. Do Group together as a team. And do it sincerely. Come up with something innovative. Your principal was mentioning about converting air to water. Those are all great ideas. Now our society, our industry needs a lot of uh, ideas because, you know, I, I, I'm getting deviated here. I went to Boston, in the US. There's a university called WPA, Worcester Polytechnic Institute. It's a great university. There, they make it compulsory for all students to go and solve a society's problem. Every engineer, as a team or as an individual, needs to solve a society's problem and then submit as a project in their curriculum. It's a wonderful idea. But, you know, they actually fly to Africa, thousands of kilometers, they fly to 
India, China, and Asian countries, South American countries, they have to fly 10,000 kilometers, 7,000 kilometers to see society's problem and solve it. Whereas, for us in Bellu, you don't have to fly 5,000 kilometers. You get out of the campus, you will see a problem. Right? You don't need to fly 5,000 kilometers. You go out, you know, to the neighboring village, you will see that, you know, their pipes are leaking, the water getting contaminated from drinking water to sewage water. There are so many problems. You know, the, so as a student, you should be able to take up such a problem and apply engineering solution. EC students have a big role to play. Electronics is very important. Can anybody live without electronics today? It's impossible, right? The, the little giant, the phone, has taken over the entire world. Do you see anybody using a camera anymore? It has eaten up everything. The computer has been eaten up. This, uh, you know, alarm piece, watch, you name any device, video recorder, everything has been eaten up by one small device, the cell phone. So such is the marvel of electronics. Are you part of that revolution? We talked about Make in India. Professor pointed about Make in India. Good days are about to come. But if you are not prepared, the revolution will pass you by. You need to be prepared. You need to take advantage of the revolution which is coming in. How do you take advantage? I already told you. You need to be strong in your subjects. And you need to have good soft skills, communication skills. Only then you can be part of this ongoing revolution. And again, it will take time for us to compete with China in manufacturing, whether it, when it comes to electronics jobs. For now, we have excellent potential in IT industry. You should not hesitate to take an IT job just because you belong to EC, you should not think. So, because it's an allied field, IT and EC are allied fields. So, you know, fortunately, the potential currently is tremendous when it comes to IT industry. Let me give you a, a brief on the selection process in IT industries also. There are different types. You know, when it comes to big numbers, mass recruitment, it is companies like Cognizant, TCS, Infosys, Accenture. They recruit in huge numbers. What they look for is the three basic things, right? Your uh, logic, they will conduct an analytical test, logic, your verbal skills, your English, right? Um, and then your quants, your mathematical skills. Many of you will score very well in mathematics because as Indians, you have been trained very well in mathematics. But many of you score poorly when it comes to the English as well as logic. So that's where you require some more training. That's the big guys, like, you know, big four or five companies. But when it comes to companies like Microsoft, they require heavy duty, hard skill. Like, they see if you understand the subject very well. So they use internship as a method to recruit. So they want you to join the company for like three months earlier during your uh, vacation time. And then if you do well, then they will recruit. That's the method Microsoft uses. You all use Google, right? You know how Google recruits? They conduct coding competitions. It doesn't matter which college you study. They conduct national level coding competition. You need to participate in such competitions and solve the problems. So for that, there are uh, training uh, methods available on the web itself. You go look for it. So, and the other company, you might have heard of Amazon, right? Amazon, the e-commerce uh, player. These days, they have started using group discussion to eliminate people. So they, con they go to different cities and conduct GD mostly in technical and uh, in general, to identify students and recruit them. So there are different varieties and methods used by companies to recruit students. But if you are strong, you will be able to get into any of these companies. Right? So you know, in, in US there's a uh, saying, they say, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. What it 
means is right now there is a big boom all the companies are recruiting even not so great students so the it's not tough situation out there but you know it's not going to continue like that it's a cyclical process sometimes the placement will go down at that time when the going gets tough right when times are tough only the toughest will get selected right so you might look at some seniors and say okay even that fellow got a job why won't i get a job right sometimes it's also luck right when that fellow graduated the companies wanted more people so they they would lower their stand standards but when they want less people they will increase their standards in that time only a tough if you are a tough nut if you have very strong you know background in your subject or communication then you will get selected others will get dropped so again the point is that you need to stay focused on your subjects and also hone your you know communication skills the, those are the two messages which i wanted to give today i once again uh, wanted to thank the entire uh, tpg team headed by a great leader for giving me this opportunity to talk to you and of course we will look into the request for the shanti has made uh, so you know even my senior is uh, present here you know, i forgot to mention it's not just my teachers my seniors uh, like professor vijay are uh, present here at uh, tpj so i i feel very at, at home that's the message i want to at home at uh, tpj uh, i'm sure i will find more excuses to come and uh, meet and talk to you all i once again thank you for giving me this opportunity